All right, now we're gonna do the second half of the heel. So you should have 10 stitches. There'll be little gaps, a little bit between them, that are on your right needle. You'll have 10 stitches that are reasonably close together. Those are the ones that you've just been knitting and purling all the way along. And then you'll have another 10 stitches on your left needle, and those are the ones that are left on the other side. So now what we want to do is create that nice cup shape to get the heel. So each row, we are going to start to pick up the stitches that we left behind. To do this, and you will be starting now on a knit row. You should have just finished the leave 10 behind on your purl and you rotated your project. So to start the pickup, we're going to start the exact same way as we did before. We're going to slip the first one. And we're going to knit across until 10 remain on our left needle. So there we go. I'll double check. There are 10 here. What we want to do is include the 10th one this time. Instead of leaving one behind, we're adding one at the end of each row. But there's a good size gap there in between. So what we're going to do is do a little bit of a pickup and knit it together with this stitch. So what I like to do is I look here on the inside, on the knit side. I'll turn it and I pick up, see that little stitch that is right between your two needles. So if you were to look at it, it's the stitch that's underneath so let me get that close to the camera. So you can see that that pull in between, that stitch right in the middle, look on the back side of it and just pick up that one little loop. I'm going to place that on my left needle, just like that, try not to split it. There we go. Now we don't want to add an extra stitch, so I'm going to knit that together really nice and tight with that tenth stitch and see how that's nice and tight and what it does is it gets rid of the gap that could be in between those two stitches and brings them nice and tight together and then I'm going to go to my piece of paper and that was the knit row and I added the tenth one so I'm going to cross it off it is now included again in my middle stitches and rotate purl side I'm going to slip that first one purl my way across until 10 remain on my left needle and then we are going to pick up one stitch from the left side the purl side so I've got 10 left there Double check. Yep, I've got 10 there. I want this stitch here now to get purled. So we're going to do that pick up again. See that stitch right there by my thumbnail? We're going to pick that one up, plop it onto our needle, and purl it together with that stitch. And there, that tightens it up. And then we can cross off that we've picked up the 10th one that we had left behind previously. Rotate our project. You're gonna slip that first stitch, knit across. go and we come to there are nine stitches remaining there so we want to there's a little bit of a fluff there we want to pick up this one now which is our ninth one that we had left behind before so we do the same thing on the knit side we kind of turn it over look at that little stitch see if I can get it to focus there Let's see there we go so you're looking behind you're gonna pick up the stitch it's in between the two needles. Pop it on there. 
knit it together nice and tight and see how there's no gap there with those stitches. And then we can cross off on our sheet. We've picked up the ninth one that had previously been left behind. Turn your project. Untangle all your yarn and hit the camera while you're at it. There we go. Slip the first stitch again, purl-wise, and purl your way across. Same as we did before. Now there's all different heels that you can do different patterns. There's uh, stitch wraps and things that a lot of people do. This is very basic, very simple. You can get into the patterns that do a wrap around the stitch when you do the pickup. This is just a very basic to get you through a sock, nice and easy. So again, here we get to the point where we have nine stitches remaining on the left needle. We wanna pick up the ninth one here. And we're gonna do that little pickup. So when you look in between your two stitches, see that little stitch right above my thumbnail? We're gonna grab that one, pull it up, and purl it nice and tight together with that stitch. And then you can mark off on your sheet that you have picked up the ninth one that had been left behind. So you're going to continue on and do the same thing. So you will rotate it, you'll knit, you'll pick up the eighth one that had been left behind at the end of that knit row. Then you're gonna do the purl row. You're gonna keep doing that all the way along until all the stitches are back included. And then I'm gonna show you how to resume going in the round so that you can continue on your sock and do the foot part of your sock. So continue on with this. You can go back and refer to how I did these two if you still need more coaching on that.